Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to convert your Blender 3.4, any of your 3D models to be game ready as FBX file. You export it as FBX file so that you can use it in any other game engine like Unreal Engine, Unity, etc. So what is game ready? The game ready 3D, 3D models is low poly 3D models with single mesh and single material. So at the beginning, if you are using the Blender 3.4 to create any of the 3D models by yourself or you import any of the 3D models into Blender 3.4, at the beginning, it may appear as high poly, a lot of faces and triangles, and it may appear as multiple meshes and also multiple materials. And finally, to be game ready, you need to make them become low poly just one single mesh and one single material texture and also you have to embed the, the material texture into the FBX file the whole FBX file will be game ready to import into any game engine so I'm going to explain start from beginning you can see now I open two blender project you can see these two project at the left hand side this is a multiple mesh 3D model. You look at the scene collection here, there are so many meshes here, multiple meshes. And then, this is not game ready. Look at the right hand side, this is just one single mesh, the process mesh, LOD ones. This is a game ready mesh. It is just one single mesh. And then you look at the left hand side, look at the UV editing, the material, it is, it is multiple materials, so many textures. You can see it is about 35 textures. So this is not game ready. And you look at the right hand side, the UV editing here. We only just use one material like this. Then the whole 3D models, every every materials already at here just have a look let's say if here I turn on the wireframe I select everything the whole 3D models for every UV mapping it already map on just one single material then this is game ready if like this the right hand side sorry the left hand side Every single material, it have different, different meshes and different UV mapping at different material. This is not game ready yet. All right now, I back to the layout. So now you understand what, what is the game ready and not game ready. And next is the number of faces. You look at the right hand side. This three D models totally, it takes about seventeen thousands of. The faces, triangles, this is a high poly 3D models for some of the low end computers and also some of the 3D engines, the game engines, this is considered as high poly. So you look at the right hand side once, this one I already convert, converted, it. the total 3D models it is only 6 six thousands to seven thousands number of phases this is low poly so the whole concept of the game ready you are going to convert your 3d models from high poly to low poly multiple meshes to one single mesh and multiple materials textures to one single material texture and finally export it as fbx with embedded texture so start from now i'm going to show you step by step First, I'm going to close everything from Blender. I don't save anything here. And then, as demo, I'm going to open one single project at here. The rest, I'm going to delete it. Now, this is the project. The original project with multiple meshes and also multiple materials that exist in these 3D models. And also, this is a high a high poly 3D models, totally 17,000 faces. 
So this is the project file, the moon zero ones. So before we start, the first step, what you are going to do is you have to go and install the Blender. Install the Blender in your computer, of course. Go and install the latest version. And today's latest version is the Blender 3.4. 3.4. And next, you have to get the SimpliGon installer from this link. Right. The SimpliGon installer click in, in my video description go and download the SimpliGon installer here the SimpliGon SDK.exe this is Microsoft Windows 10 go and install this and you always remember you have to install the Blender before the SimpliGon because the SimpliGon it contains a plugin a SimpliGon plugin it will automatically detect that your blender already installed in your computer then during the process of the installation of the simply gone it is going to automatically install the plugin of the simply gone for blender so once you install already the simply gone this is a this is a plugin that can automatically convert any of your 3d models to be game ready that means at the beginning your Blender project, the whole 3D models, it is high poly, multiple meshes, and multiple material. Just one single click, the SimpliGon plugin is going to, to convert the whole 3D models to be low poly, one mesh, and one material. It's just a single mesh and single material. And this is really a very useful plugin for all the game developer. So. The first step after you already install the Blender, the second step after you already install the Simply Gone, the third step, what you are going to do is just fill in the Simply Gone license applications. You are going to search it at here, Simply Gone. Then you should be able to see a Simply Gone license application. The Simply Gone itself is a free software that released by Microsoft. It gives give you to install the SimpliGon free license. Choose this one, then next. Agree with the end user license agreement and click next. Then at here, you have to sign in by using your Microsoft account. It can be Hotmail, Outlook, etc. Just go and create a, a free Microsoft account and sign in. After you sign in, you will automatically get a three years free license for your SimpliGon. 3 years is a really long time for you to use. Right. For me, I already I already key in the license in my computer. I already log in. So the next step, you have to go to the next step. Activate the SimpliGon grid agent. For every time if you want to activate the SimpliGon grid agents, you just need to go and search here SimpliGon. The Simply Gone Grid Agents here. Once you click it, it will automatically activate the Simply Gone Grid Agents. When you look at your taskbar here, when you can see this icon, the Simply Gone Grid Agents, that means the Simply Gone Grid Agent already activated. Next, at this moment, you already can open the Blender. For example, just now I show you I have a raw project, the Moon Zero ones. This project is high poly, multiple meshes and multiple materials. Alright, to activate the SimpliGon plugin in Blender, you have to go to the Edit Preferences. Under the Add-ons, here, search at here, type in SimpliGon. You should be able to see the 3D optimization simply gone. This is the plugin that already installed in your Blender just now. So you have to install your Blender first before install the simply gone. Then it will automatically appear right here. Then once you search out the simply gone, by default it is not activated here. You have to take it to make sure you activate the 3D optimization simply gone. Then close it. Now, 
Once you already done this step, to, to open the SimpliGon plugin in Blender, you have to press N. You press N, the SimpliGon will be at here. Click into the SimpliGon like this. Next, select the meshes that you want to, to process, then click Add LOD Components. You can see all of these meshes already selected. If you select it, it will turn the color to become orange. So now I, I select all like this then all are automatic selected. Then you click Add LOD Components. Choose the basic aggregation with material baking. The aggregation is to combine all the meshes into just one single mesh. And the material baking is combine all the texture materials to become just one single material. So we choose this. And then scroll down here until you can see process next, you click the process. At this moment, you need to wait for a while. Now it is going to process all of this and create a new level of detail. Now you can see this is a one single mesh. The original mesh is still there and it created a new, new mesh node LOD once. This is the one, not the previous one, but this. So you can delete the previous meshes just click the last one, hold the shift button, click the first one, then press delete button. Now, the only left, what, what left here is just the process mesh nodes. This is the LOD one. It combines all the meshes together to become one single mesh. And also, just check the UV editing. Now you can see this new, new mesh, this new mesh already have have a big material and all of the parts all of the UV mapping it automatic combine to become one single mesh. Right. So you no need the previous single meshes all the meshes node and you also no need the previous material. Now it already become a game ready texture. Back to the layout here. And then you can see the number of triangle, the number of faces it never change. It is still 17,000. Next step, you can use the SimpliGon to just simplify it to make, to reduce the faces to become like 40% of it or 30%. The first step, you have to delete the aggregation pipeline just now and then add the LOD component again. You have to click and select the mesh first before you add the LOD component. Now I click add LOD components. I choose the basic reduction. Reduction is to make these 3D models convert it from, from high poly to low poly. I choose reductions. And then under the reductions, the reduction setting, by default it is 0 0.5. That means this is 50% of the number of faces will be left after you process it. Of course you can put 0.2% as well. Then after you process it, it only left 0%, uh, sorry, 0 0.2, that is 20% of the number of the faces. Now, we can try 0 0.2 or, okay, now I try 0 0.3. Then I click process and wait for a while until it finish process. You can see after you process it, it create a new mesh here, and then this is the old mesh, All right? If you make it invisible, you only make the new mesh in the new mesh visible like this. Now you can see the new mesh that created here. It is still a three D model, but the faces, the number of faces is just left. 5,100 faces, the number of triangle already reduced. So it already become a low poly 3D model. This is a low poly 3D model. All right. All right, this is the original 17,000 faces, this 3D model. And then the process one, it become low poly. 
So for this time, I want to keep my original. So sorry, the original process. I want to delete it. This is the ones that seventeen thousand faces. I press delete buttons. Now it only left the low poly three D models at here. This low poly mesh is five thousand faces, five thousand triangle. So now you can see just now my project is Moon Zero ones. After I reduce it to become low poly, single material and single mesh, I save it as a new Blender project file here. File save as at the original locations, the Moon Zero ones underscore the file name. I will just put an underscore game ready. Right now, I click save as. Now this is a game ready. 3D models and now I can just export it as FBX file. So you can see in this tutorial, I already successfully show you how to make the high poly models, 3D models to become low poly 3D models, multiple meshes to become just one single mesh and multiple materials to become just one single material. And now we are going to export it as FBX file with embedded texture. Now you can see, click file, export as FBX file. It has some option here. To make sure that it is embedded the texture in FBX file, you have to make sure the path mode you choose copy. And you highlight this symbol. This setting will just make sure that you export the FBX file with material texture embedded. Click export. Now you can see this is an FBX file. I double click, it will automatically open by using my Microsoft 3D Viewer. The 3D model is still okay, it is still 3D, but it really reduced to become low poly. And actually, it, it looks nothing different. And it is quite okay, quite nice to see. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorial on how to make your. Blender 3.4 3D models to be game ready and export it as FBX file so that you can use it in third party game engine like Unreal Engine, Unity, and any other 3D animation software where you want to have some game ready 3D models. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all this tutorial and sharing are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D animation, 3D modeling and game developing. See you!